This problem tells us to return to the information we were given at the beginning of the question. 62% of the books are works of fiction. 47% are available as ebooks, and 14 as ebooks, but not works of fiction. So complete the hypothetical 1,000 table. What that means, again, is that you're throwing 1,000 people into the situation with those probabilities. So 62% of the books are works of fiction. So that's this, this right here, this column. So we'll take 62% of 1,000, 0.62 times 1,000, that's 620. 1,000 minus 620 will get you this number right here, which is 380. And then we can keep going. 47% are available as ebooks. So that's this row right here. So it's going to be four, um, 470. And then the difference is 1,000 minus 470, which is 530. Okay. 14 are available as ebooks, but not works of fiction. So in this row, 14 are available as ebooks, but not as fiction. So that's 14% of 1,000, which is 140. And now we can fill the whole table out. Uh, right here, we've got 330, because 330 plus 140 is 470. So that works. Oops, 330. And then we've got 290 here. 290 and 330 is 620. And then 290 plus 240 is 530. So now our table is filled out. Complete the table below use showing the probabilities of the events. All right. Well, the number is always going to go here as 1. And then we just go around. I'm going to divide each number by 1,000 from our previous table, like these numbers here and all throughout to finish the problem. We get 0 0.29, 0 0.24 here, 530 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.53. Top row, we get uh, 0 0.33, 0 0.14, and 0 0.47. Let's just divide it in by 1,000. 0 0.33, 0 0.14, and 0 0.47. And if they ever ask you to compare the probabilities in these two, as they do right here, just point out they are the same. Right? Even though one is based on a hypothetical number of people, the thousand, all the numbers are generated from the theoretical probabilities, or I should say, excuse me, the probabilities from whatever made-up survey they give us. That's the same as what you're having down here in the probabilities, or decimals, or decimals or percents are representing the same data. They are equal. All right, I hope that helped.